Okay, so I'm going to show you testing the marker switches on the shower. When the pressure comes in, it operates the marker switches, which allows power to the solenoid and to the heater elements via the thermal cutter. These do go the pretty good quality Honeywell ones. These are so they do they are good quality, but it's a moving part, so it will eventually break. P2 again, P82. There's the switch. I've got that set in the stop position. So when you take it off, make sure it's in the stop position on the lid on the top. And it should just pull clear and fit back in nice. There's your micro switches. There's one there, one there, and a third one at the bottom. The wires come up to the thermostat to the uh, element you can buy these you could probably buy cheaper ones and fit your own terminals but the amount of current these carry I would buy from Triton or from whichever manufacturer you get your showers and the way to test them just link between them put it on continuity That's one. I'll put that out of the way now. So if you replace them, you just undo the screw there, and that comes off with the brown wire attached. So that's number two. Working perfect. And number three is just down the side here. For that one, you have to like go down inside there and press it there. So that's it, they're all working fine. Let's put it back together now. I ain't gonna take none out. Easy to do, just undo the bolts, pull your mark switch out and replace it. Just make sure that bit of plastic's in the right place there. Oh, I forgot about this neon switch. I'll sort that out afterwards. I'll break that myself. That's nothing to do with these. So So that's it for testing them, really easy job, just got to go fix that neon light now which I broke and that'll be it.